welcome to this final uh, session for today. Um, um, and we're really going to get to uh, the sort of the heart of the matter, I would say, in our discussion this afternoon. Uh, and we're going to be focusing specifically on, on central financial finance agencies, and perhaps most particularly, of course, finance ministries. Um, you know, they, as we've said, I mean, these, these are clearly central to the que all the questions on budgeting in the real world that we've been touching upon uh, so far today. Um, but despite their centrality, um, are the capabilities of central finance agencies something we've given enough attention to? And I think this, this session is starting from the premise that perhaps we haven't given enough attention to this issue. So what we, we would like to be doing this afternoon is, is to discuss uh, three major questions um, uh, regarding ministries of finance. One, how would we know if a, uh, a ministry of finance is capable? And we all have ideas about a ministry being capable or, or less capable, but what specifically it is, would we, how would we know if a ministry is capable? And, and for what particular functions as well? I think we can't really answer that question of capability without also answering the question of functions, both the hard, the hard functions, but also the soft functions that we've been hearing a, a lot about today and that were brought up um, uh, most recently in regard to Mozambique. Um, and similarly, what are the characteristics and indeed the factors that might have an influence over that capability? But looking uh, uh, at ministries of finance within their broader context, we also have the question of, you know, to what extent can we look at them as a separate um, focus um, of, a, of PFM reform? Um, uh, how much of it is, is dependent on the broader context, political context, public administration context and so on? Um, and how much of that might also depend on the nature of the function that we're talking about? Um, so looking at capability on a concentrated function that we were discussing today versus capabilities that relate more direct, more in a more <coughs> relational way to the deconcentrated functions. And can uh, a finance ministry be the driver of better uh, budgets from the front? And I think we were heard, hearing from Madame uh, Diogo that, uh, that that is indeed possible in, her, in, in the case of Mozambique at least. And then thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, and something we don't want to lose sight of in, this, in, the, in the conversation, is um, if we can measure this and understand better the capabilities, what are the implications of that? What are the implications of that for the design of reforms, for capacity building and so on? But also, um, in, to what extent does it really matter? Does it matter for the bigger things? A at the end of the day, ministries of finance are a means to an end. Um, and to what extent uh, do we believe that capability is one of the binding constraints to getting better budget um, outcomes? So, um, if I may, I'm going to introduce um, uh, um, this very large and distinguished panel. Um, uh, firstly, I'm going to uh, invite uh, Philip Krauss, who's the team leader, as you know, of the public finance uh, at uh, uh, CAPE. Um, he's, Philip's going to be setting the scene for us. Um, both the theory and the challenges, um, um, drawing on the framing paper, the excellent framing paper that he provided with us uh, <coughs> before this event. Then I'm going to pass to Richard Allen, who's the former Deputy uh, Division Chief at the IMF, and who recently led a study, a major study for the World Bank on central finance agencies. Um, um, he, and he will be looking, I think, giving us something of a perspective from the sort of Europe and OECD perspective. Um, um, and how they've responded, particularly in the context of the crisis, uh, the financial crisis. Uh, Kenneth Mugambe um, is the Director of Budget of Uganda and has had a, quite a varied experience before reaching that uh, important position, including working in the Ministry of Planning as a separate ministry, um, experiencing the merger of the Ministry of Planning and the Ministry of Finance um, before perhaps um, now finding himself in the very core of the budget process. Um, and he's going to bring us to some hard reality, I think, of what it means um, to have a, be an effective Ministry of Finance um, in a developing country context. Um, and then finally, Bjorn uh, Dresel, who's Senior Lecturer at the Australia uh, National University and co-author of a framework on political economy environment for central finance agencies, is going to s reflect upon all of that for us and pull out some, some uh, interesting points for, for further discussion. Um, each of those speakers is going to have about 15 minutes. Um, 
and uh, then Bjorn's going to take 10 minutes. And I realise something I failed to do right at the beginning is to introduce myself, which I apologise. <laughs> um, my name is Nicola Smithers. I'm um, uh, from the World Bank, uh, working on public financial management issues. Um, so if I may, I'll pass to Philip. <laughs> 